Okay. How are we doing? Good. Good. What would you guys think? Two club wind out there today or? At least. At least? Jeez. Ball was going sideways. Defense was playing with 12 today. Yeah, so a great day out there. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, obviously a shorter practice. Uh, third day of mandatory minicamp. And I uh, really just want to start off by thanking everybody. Um, I know I've been thanking the players up here the last a couple of times. And, of course, thank them for their their devotion and their discipline and their the way they act and the way they uh, go about their business. But it takes more than that. And I really want to thank everybody, meaning the strength and conditioning staff uh, for the time they put in the offseason, uh, performance staff, uh, nutrition, the trainers, Andre, and everybody in, in, in that uh, space uh, does an awesome job. You know, and then uh, PR, you know, they, they do an awesome job. Uh, Ted's done an awesome job. Aaron has done an awesome job. And uh, really just, uh, you know, supporting everybody and making sure it's always going to be about our players. You know, the players here come first. And uh, our resume is the players. And how they perform is, is, is how we perform. So it's, uh, it's everybody's all in on that. And I really appreciate that. The heart of service that every staff member has to be able to pull this off and bring these guys together in such a way that's going to be special and uh, really excited about that. Um, you know, so uh, injuries, again, they had some guys sit out, just precautionary. Uh, we don't see anything that's uh, a serious issue, so that's that's how far I'll go with that at this time. I also do want to announce a joint practice uh, with the Cincinnati Bengals on 8-15. All right, uh, that's on a Thursday, and it'll be at 1 o'clock. So we are having one practice together. Uh, Zach and I have already visited about the, what that practice looks like. Um, logistics in terms of location and, and moving people around and, and really getting a lot out of that practice. So um, this is the first time that I've done one day practice. And again, that, he brought that idea to me. And uh, so I thought it was really good. Um, and we worked on the uh, face of it. And I think it's going to be awesome. So, um, and with that, I'll open the questions. Matt here. Is that Cincinnati practice here? Is that Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was common sense. We're playing here on Saturday. I mean, you, did, you did two days, obviously, last year. Yeah. What is the kind of pros and cons of, of trying to squeeze work into one day as opposed to two? Like you did? Yeah, I, I think it's good. Like I said, it's my first time. So I do believe that it's good. We are hitting all the situations uh, that day. Uh, so I think it'll be really good. Uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to work like the special teams aspect of it, you know, with the kick games changing, you know, and the kickoff, kickoff return and all that. Uh, so that's going to be good. It really will. And uh, it'll be a really solid practice. What does Caleb get out of a short practice like this? What are you looking for when you guys aren't doing a ton of work? Yeah, uh, just uh, working really in the red zone today. You know, so I thought it was uh, it was better uh, than the first time we were in the red zone. Uh, I think it was last week, maybe. And uh, him understanding the concepts and where it is. Again, it was windy today, so there were some balls that were flying a little bit uh, wayward. But I thought, for the most part, I did a nice job. A new twist uh, to start 11-on-11 11 11 with, with the trick play out there? Today. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go. That's right. we got several of them. As you, as you say goodbye to your veterans for a summer break here, where is the team compared to uh, maybe the last two years when you yeah, like every team's different. We all know that. And the rosters change significantly. Um, you know, and the, and the players that we drafted, we've drafted well. And we've developed players, you know, through time on task, uh, through experience and exposure. Uh, you can name a bunch of guys that have had that and are really raising their game, and they got to do that again. You know, so players that are in their second year got to be better in their third and so forth and so on. So uh, the roster is different. Um, you know, uh, we're in a different spot, you know, in terms of, you know, all the way from the top, you know, so Ryan and I are in a different spot. We know what we're looking for. We know how we're doing it. We've had the experiences together of building this uh, roster together, building this football team. So it's uh, it's in a different spot for sure. Talk about how, you know, it's going to be really hard to make this team. How much different does that make training camp than maybe your first year when you're a lot of jobs? Yeah, I, mean, I think you can really hone in on the on the battles, you know, because I know when, you're, when your roster is starting out and you're rebuilding, there's a lot of things that are open and – you can really hone in on what spots are. This is a, really a competition spot with this particular player and that particular player. And that we still have a few spots there, of course. You know, the roster is never perfect. And it's never finalized. But, you know, we'll be uh, looking at that as we go. What jumps out at you as the battles that you're going to be really interested in? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not going to get into the details of that. I mean, you can certainly pick those spots, uh, you know, looking at the roster. But, 
we'll talk about those things as we have our personnel meeting today and then keep working on those. To, to this stage, where do you think your offense has, it's seven on seven, whatever, but where has it improved the most at this stage? I just think everybody understanding, you know, it's, it's about the basics, right? So formation, motion, you know, if it's a pass play, are we getting the protections right? Are we able to change the protection based on the, the, the defense's look? And then the pass concepts, you know, from, you know, all the way through the gamut of movement passes to quick pass to drop back to screen game to everything that everybody has. So it's just going through that process. And uh, you'll see that uh, we'll see that time on task. It will get better and better. We saw that. We saw Caleb improve. We saw the whole offense get better and better uh, through the process. Sorry, is, is there any player that jumped out at you that's like, whoa, I'm impressed that he's reached this level and or that? Yeah, I would say uh, Rome. Rome really impressed us, you know, in terms of his ability to grab concepts and really execute out there, um, for sure. But again, there's a lot of guys that impressed us. Matt, did Kyler get hurt in practice yesterday? Kyler Gordon, did he get injured in practice yesterday? Um, I don't know if it was in practice or not. Um, it's not a serious thing. I know that he woke up with what he had, but uh, it, it's uh, it's low back, so it's just uh, we'll see where it is. Matt, what, Matt, what are you hoping to get out of next week? Like. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a, a quarterback school type of thing, you know. We're working with the skill players on uh, the rookie skill players that we have, um, and then Kayla will be still be here, and same thing on defense. Mm -hmm. and it's just about uh, relearning, reinstalling, and then really setting uh, the game plan for the summer plan. You know, what exactly, how exactly do we go through those four weeks to make sure that. Our baseline is here, but now we can now increase it two more steps in terms of knowledge of the scheme, understanding of the scheme, and uh, that's for all players. Uh, so we're going to really go through that with those players um, in detail uh, through the three days. We'll be here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we'll do that. Matt, is it exclusively rookies, or do you think would there be some non rookies? It's just rookies. Yeah. Matt, in terms of Caleb, uh, it's only been a couple practices against the first team secondary, but how have you seen him adjust and, and progress against the NFL speed of, of the secondary? Well, yep, yeah, well. And again, we could do things differently where I, I say, hey, we're going to have the ones go against the twos and twos go against the ones, but I, I don't think, I don't like that. I don't like it. I think that Caleb is a talent, uh, a very good talent, and his game will go to where it needs to be because that's, I want him to see that in front of him. The windows closing, the, the variation of what we do on defense, and uh, I want him to see that day in and day out. So that when he gets to uh, play somebody else, it, it'll look okay. I've, I've been here, done that. So uh, that's how we're going to keep it. Matt, right. Matt, Matt, several players this week, both on offense, offense and defense, have mentioned Kevin Byer. What kind of impact do you see him making? Uh, he's special, uh, just in terms of a leader. Um, people respect him because of the man he is, um, and he's been. Uh, a devoted guy to this game for a long time. And you can really feel that. I mean, that's palpable. You can feel the love of the game that he has. Um, and he's very respectful. Um, you know, he's like a coach on the field. And he's got really good ball hawking ability. That's why I like him a lot. So, I mean, 11 on 11 with, Kay like with Caleb in those situations, can you gauge just like how that situation is speeding up when he is going against the pass rush? I know it can't hit him, but like. Right. Um, can you gauge where his processing is at right now? I think so, to some degree. I really believe you can. Uh, but it's going to look much different when we get back into training camp, you know, because, you know, the, now we got the pads on. Now we have the rushers rushing. And, again, if they win, they're going to work away from the quarterback. But he'll be able to feel that a little bit more. And that will increase as experience increases. So, like, right now we're kind of rushing and then stopping and not doing that. So it's not the real feel yet, but it will be. What have you have you been able to take? What do you take away just from his like you know decision making in those moments? Or just... yeah, really good. Yeah, he's done really good. He's progressed all the way across and hit guys. He's progressed to open spaces in his first two progressions and and dotted guys. So I think it's been really good. We Matt, think, oh, or, oh, Kyler and, and Jalen stood up to you yesterday and said they feel the defense kind of uh, establishing an intimidating was the word they used edge with with not only their production but how boisterous they are. I, I'm curious what you're seeing in the identity in terms of that outward energy and enthusiasm that yeah it's been great it's been great and i tell the players all the time words are awesome i love words and i like goals and i do believe in that i said but it comes down to what we do on the grass right so it's it's got to be shown out there right so and i believe in saying it and being confident and all those things but it's it's in the doing
It's not in there talking about it. So it's important that we understand that. So when we start to perform with our pads on, guess what? We got to be who we say we're going to be. And to me, it's all, it's all right there. It's all proof. You know, are we really putting it out there? Are we really running to the ball? Are we really doing what we say we're doing in terms of the hits principle? And we'll find out. We'll see. Well, did, you, oh, did you have a parting message for the team, the veterans that won't be here next week? Yeah, my parting message today was simple. It was, uh, you know, control the things you can control, which is your work ethic, your attitude, um, your demeanor, your devotion, your discipline, your determination, um, the people you hang around, all the things that you can control during this time, and uh, having a plan, going through the process, and really not paying attention to the things you can't control. You know, you can't control how people think about you. You can't control what they say. They can't control, you know, where you were born, when you were born. You can't control all that. You can't control the past. Uh, but you can control right here, right now. And you have individual responsibility. And I always tell the guys, you know, in the word win, I stands for individual responsibility. So this is that time of year that we have individual responsibility to each teammate and each, everybody in the building. And, uh, and we're counting on you, you know, to come back in a better way, two steps up from where you are right now. So that was the main message. In the last, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen Caleb at Sky games, Cubs games, Sox games. Realize not all of those things are team sponsored, but is there something that the organization likes about getting the players out to go see other teams in town? Yeah, absolutely. It's really, it's really about other teams in town, but it's more about like being together. You know, so it's about hanging out outside the building, getting to know somebody on a personal level, rather than just, hey, yeah, you play this position and you're part of our team. So that's, that's ongoing. It's got to be worked at. You want to be good at something. Relationships is something you want to be good at. You got to work at it. Okay.